In this video, we'll talk about Google Classroom and the Schoology Learning Management System. At the Bethlehem Area School District, we've been using Google Apps and Google Classroom for about two years. With the introduction of Schoology, many teachers are asking, why would we want to use Schoology when we already are using Google Classroom? This presentation is designed to describe each tools and capabilities, their strengths, and maybe you would want why you want and maybe why you would want to choose one tool over the other. I'll start with Google Classroom. Google Classroom is considered by some as a Google Drive management system. With the introduction of Google Classroom, the sharing and, distri and distribution of shared documents has been simplified in both an easy to use and a pleasing to use interface in Google Classroom. One big thing that you may not be aware of if you use Classroom, but hopefully you are, is how Google Classroom organizes the Google Drive. Um, it definitely is unique in that it's the only tool that does it the way it does. So when someone uses Google Classroom, whether it be a teacher or a student, there is a folder automatically generated called Classroom. In, each, in that Classroom folder, there is a folder for every class that the person is enrolled in or has created if they're a teacher. Inside of those folders are folders for each assignment. And it keeps everything organized for both teachers and students as far as documents used in Google Classroom. It's a great organizational tool. Google Classroom gives teachers the ability to share documents with students in an academic setting. It provides options for teachers in terms of how they want to share, whether the students can view the file only, whether they can all edit the file, all the students in the Google Classroom can edit the same file, or whether they get a copy of the Google document being shared with them and they can then work on it on their own. It also streamlines the sharing, sharing permissions throughout the assignment process. So for example, if a student clicks on a document that it is set to make a copy for them, they get the copy and the teacher still has access to that document. Uh, they can just click on that in the Google Drive interface or go to the Google Drive folder for the class to see the student's document and how it takes shape, how they add content, the direction that they're going. And throughout that process, they can make comments or they can talk to the student and say, I'm looking at your assignment, you know, and they can guide them. So it's an instructional workflow. Uh, it also changes the permissions when the student submits the assignment so that they aren't able to make changes after that submission date and the integrity of the assignment is maintained. And then when the assignment is returned to the student, that student gains permission back to edit the file once again. So it does a great job of maintaining that workflow uh, when using Google Drive documents. Google Classroom also gives teachers the ability to quickly share links and certain resources such as YouTube uh, and other types of documents. Here's a picture of the assignment just like on the last slide, but the kinds of things that can be shared with them are pictured below. You can do this in an assignment or an announcement in Google Classroom. So to recap, Google Classroom does a great job of organizing the Google Drive, specifically the Classroom folder. The rest of the drive is really up to the student or teacher to organize, but it does an amazing job there. It also uh, assists with the assignments and the sharing settings uh, on each part of an assignment workflow. And you may wanna pause the video and look through these particular um, steps and how it is described. And it also provides a simple sharing mechanism of links, YouTube videos, and other types of documents in a kind of a flowing fat fashion, a linear fashion where it's the newest thing on top. Um, it can be reordered, um, but uh, it's basically a linear workflow. So now onto Schoology. Schoology is considered to be a learning management system. It's the official and supported learning management system, or LMS, of the Bethlehem Area School District. An LMS is a software system that contains a suite of functionalities designed to deliver, track, report on, and manage learning content, learner progress, and learner interactions. One advantage or strength of Schoology as an LMS is the ability to organize and chunk content in meaningful instructional design. The teacher can make it a linear or non-linear structure. Uh, the control is in the hands of the teacher. So here is a picture of a Schoology course with units and lessons with activities in each lesson. lesson. And you can create more nested folders if you'd like. Probably wouldn't want to have too many 
levels, but you can do that. The icons depict different types of activities present in that learning module. Something unique to Schoology in the BASD is that um, not only are staff and student accounts created by eSchool Plus, um, and actually that sort of happens for Google as well. Uh, it's not quite eSchool Plus, but the same system uh, or set of systems, but courses are generated and populated by eSchool Plus according to the enrollment. So teachers do not have to create their own classes. They're actually called courses in Schoology, nor do they have to worry about getting students into their classes as it's done automatically when the enrollment occurs. Uh, it would occur uh, very shortly after the student is enrolled in the school as the whole system takes care of getting students in different systems. Another nice thing about Schoology and the LMSs, the types of software that an LMS is, is the ability to embed content right within the Schoology website. Sometimes teachers want to keep students focused by limiting the number of websites they need to accomplish for a given task. Embedding these items can keep things simple and keep students more engaged in the one website uh, and eliminate the lost time when students are sent to multiple links. It depends on the learning environment and the um, purpose of the lesson, but it definitely can be advantageous. Here is a screenshot of an embedded Google document in a Schoology web page. So you can see this is view only, uh, and this was actually added with the Google app in Schoology, and it does a pretty nice job of adjusting the sharing settings. Uh, it's not quite the same as Google Classroom, but it does a little bit uh, of what Google Classroom does. Schoology also has the tools for the allowing teachers and students to record directly in the system. So they can record webcam video with audio or just audio. It's simple to add these additional modalities to a course or lesson to address learning styles, struggling learners, ESOL students, or younger students, since it's available in many of the different interfaces when creating content. Another way Schoology interacts with eSchool Plus is with the gradebook. Teachers will have the ability to create their assignments in Schoology and then grade them there and have the Schoology assignments, and you can individually choose which assignments sync directly with eSchool Plus. So it's individualized, it's synced, and it eliminates double entry into two different systems. Schoology, like other LMSs, gives teachers the ability to differentiate content in one course uh, according to specific learners. So in this screenshot, um, editing a page, which is something you can add to Schoology, and there's a special place down here where it says assign to. So I can start typing student names in here and give this page or an assignment or whatever I'm creating to specific students only. So you eliminate the need for students to see all the assignments and then they just have to know whether it's assigned to them or not. Um, the capability to individualize is there and differentiation is available. In addition, I can control access, student access to content on the basis of whether they completed other items first, uh, called completion rules. These completion rules can keep students focused on completing initial requirements and automatically reveal content based on their progress. You can turn these on or you can leave them off. It's up to you as a teacher. Awarding students credentials in classrooms based on achievement, behavior, or participation can be a huge motivator. Schoology has a built-in badging system to assist teachers in awarding digital badges in their classroom. You can also gamify a environment, an environment by using badging. It's a great addition. Teachers are often busy working with individual students on helping them achieve their goals or learning skills. Schoology has built-in analytics to help teachers see how the class is doing with certain assignments and whether students are engaging with content. So here you can see you can uh, see there's options to look by a specific person, how students are doing on assignments, discussions, links, how many page views, uh, how many hits you're getting, are students engaged? Uh, you also have a mastery system to help you see how well students are doing overall, where you set up criteria, um, and then color coding can help you see quickly where students need help. 
Schoology also has a built-in groups feature, which is pretty unique to Schoology. Uh, you can use this area to collaborate among groups in a non-academic setting, such as clubs or PLCs. There can be district groups, school groups, or there are public groups with other school, Schoology users. And with all the content being created in Schoology, surely, surely there must be a way to store it and share it, and there is. There's a place called Resources where teachers may store their own content as well as students. Um, students have resources. They may access group or public resources, and the resources can be shared, such as question pools that you create in um, quizzes. So here's a picture of the public resource area in Schoology where people contribute and things are rated. So here's a code of conduct. There are some lessons that can be used. Um, it's a very collaborative atmosphere. In addition, every student will have the ability to create and share a portfolio containing digital content, whether it's something they created in Google or a picture of an assignment that they created you know, manually. They made something, taking a picture of it and submitting it. If the content has already been submitted in Schoology, uh, they can pull directly from that content to save time and focus on how they're putting their portfolio together. So here is a slide of some of the Schoology advantages. Uh, you may want to stop, pause, and read through these things and indicate to yourself which things you would be interested in exploring. Note, you don't want to explore you know, every single thing, but maybe something speaks to you in your classroom. And here is the second slide of some Schoology features. So which one do you use? Um, I think it really matters uh, and it depends on what you want to do. If you're mainly interested in organizing Google Drive and giving simple assignments and sharing content in a linear organization, use Google Classroom. Can you share Google Docs in Schoology? Yes. Uh, there's a special app for Google Drive where that will help you with some of the sharing settings and with getting content in Schoology instead of downloading it and uploading it. Um, and this will be especially helpful with Chromebooks. So on the other hand, if you're interested in organizing content and um, varying it in trying to be in a non-linear fashion, uh, you want to differentiate assignments based on student, controlling when students can see content, use a unified gradebook that syncs with eSchool, and use badges for um, increasing motivation and providing uh, micro-credentials or even gamification, having students create e-portfolios or just have that single place where things can be embedded to keep students more focused on the activities than actually getting to the activity they need to do, you may want to take a look at Schoology. So here is a Venn diagram on the capabilities of each, and it's by no means comprehensive, but you can see it's huge. You may want to pause and look at each side, and then also in the middle, the shared functionality, to see if the system can do what you need it to do. Can they work together, Schoology and Google? Yes. We will continue to encourage all teachers and students to utilize Google Drive for document creation and sharing. Um, we will encourage all who use Schoology to install the Google Drive app to make it easier to integrate Google Docs into Schoology. And the Google Drive app will help us as well as the usage of techniques for sharing the links to view, the editing links, and copying links. And the BASD will endeavor to document this and share this with as many people as possible so that the experience is smoother. And with the Schoology Coaches program, uh, this will definitely be a, a big thing that people will want to learn about. And yes, it can work. And with everyone's help, we can make it work smoothly. Thank you.